Hey guys, welcome back to AMI Studio Chicago. In today's video, I will be giving you my perspective and my tips and tricks on going to the Eras Tour if you are attending. Eras Tour slash Taylor Swift concert, I went to the Chicago Night 2 at Soldier Field and it was such an amazing experience. So make sure you stay till the end of the video so you can know all of my tips and tricks. Okay, so another really big thing at the Eras Tour, which was so fun to do with everyone, was trading bracelets, and you would just bring a ton of bracelets because Taylor has a ton of songs about making friendship bracelets with people and trading them. So you would just walk up to really anyone, as you can see me doing in these photos, and it's just such a cool experience. Okay, so another huge thing is as soon as you get there, make sure you hop in the merch line because I know a couple of people who are waiting in the merch line for over an hour and I was only waiting in the merch line for like five to ten minutes because as soon as I got there, which I did get there at six, which is another thing, arrive super early so you could obviously find a seat, get merch, go through security. It's a huge thing. Even though I wasn't inside the building, I was on the field, but it was still so many people on the outside like as much as on the inside okay another thing is dress as something super cool it has to be at least one of her albums or one of her songs because so many people were dressed up and it was so amazing but it's also pretty cool to just go there you don't have to really be dressed up but it's just an amazing it makes it 10 times better if you are dressed up as one of her albums or songs another big question is is it as cool from the outside 100% yes. If you're like me and didn't get tickets, so you just wanted to go and attend the outside, you could hear Taylor, all of her lights go beaming up, as you can see in a couple photos, and it's just such a great experience, even if you're not inside the concert. On TikTok, you guys probably see all those videos from my voice before the Taylor Swift concert, after the Taylor Swift concert, and the day, and the morning of, after the Taylor Swift concert. And most people are asking, like, that's not really real. You, even if you're screaming your head off, you don't lose your voice. Wrong. I'll show you how I was screaming the entire night, and I'll show you my voice in the morning. So that's me singing, and now I'll show you how I was screaming my head off once Taylor played Don't Blame Me once it got dark. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I was screaming the entire night. And let me show you how my voice was in the morning. It was kind of crazy. My voice after Taylor Swift. Yeah, that was my voice the morning after the concert. Pretty crazy, right? But one last tip. If you have to miss 10 minutes of the last part of the show, it's worth it. Or else you're going to be stuck in two hours with the traffic getting out. Me and my mom left 10 minutes with the show left over. And we saved ourselves like two hours. Because my cousin also went to the concert. And she got home at 2.30 and I got home at 1.30. So, I guess that's an hour, but she left when the concert ended, and people were pushing, shoving, and trying to get to their vehicle. But, when I left, people were already leaving, but, like, it was, like, ten people, and we got out like a breeze. There was still a little bit of traffic, but since we went to go get food, it kind of died down by the time I was going home. So, leave early. Yeah, I'm very lucky that I got to go to this event, and not see Taylor, but hear Taylor. Even if you don't have tickets, still show up to the field. It is the same thing. You don't really get a hear.